We need to add something to the armature called a commutator. It's a ring with gaps on the opposite sides. The commutator will spin along with the armature. Now we connect the circuit with two brushes on the side. These brushes will slide along as the commutator spins, and they are spring-loaded so that they always maintain contact. The current flows from the wire, through the brush, the commutator ring, the armature loop, and back through the other side. As we come around this time, the brushes will switch contact to the other side of the commutator ring. This commutator ring does the same thing as switching the wires like we were doing before, but this time it does it all on its own.